And there's a new test to tell you about, Ellen. It will tell people if they've had coronavirus. Investigative reporter Angie Rocono looks at why this new test could be so important. If people know they've had the coronavirus and recovered, their blood could be used for treatments so they could literally save lives and safely serve on the front lines. We've already spoken to people across Kansas City who want to be tested. Yeah, I would be very curious to do an antibody test. Meet college student Taylor Long. She's KCTV 5's Carolyn Long's daughter. I woke up just feeling kind of sick. My throat hurt. I was so tired. Taylor was extremely sick around Christmas. It was really weird that I could not get out of bed for like two weeks. Um, all my friends were really worried about me. She tested negative for flu, mono, and strep. So I was coughing all night, just up coughing, didn't sleep. Doctors kept testing and testing. Whatever virus she had traveled to her eyes. My eyes were swollen shut and I bloodshot red and they just hurt so bad. And then people started talking about the coronavirus and symptoms like eye problems. I think that might have been it. Because it's just a hunch. Now there's a test. It detects antibodies in patients who recovered from the virus. It works on asymptomatic patients too. It shows immunity. And this new test is now authorized by the FDA. It's a simple blood test. You just prick your finger. It's cheap and takes just minutes. How convinced are you that you had coronavirus? Really convinced. Maria DeMarco from Raytown was sick in December too. She'd love to know if it was COVID-19. It whipped through her relatives. Maria wants to know so she could help others. You know, now we have enough survivors. Maybe we can start looking at antibodies. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I would do anything I can if, you know, donating blood is such a small thing that I could do to help people who are really affected by this. Finding those who recovered can help accelerate some of the more promising treatments like blood transfusions. So the test is here. It is approved, but it's unclear how long it'll be before it comes to Kansas City. Angie Bracono, KCTV5 News.